I'm Steve Batchel, adventurer, explorer, and all-round daredevil. I've teamed up with the Brave Bones Club to teach some competition-winning adventurers how to get the most out of the great outdoors. Let's see what we've got in store for them. So it doesn't matter what environment you're in, if you're in a woodland like this, in a park, even in your own back garden, you can always find some of my very favorite animals, the creepy crawlies. I'm gonna show you some of my favorite ways of going out and bug bothering. So you two are gonna have that sheet and the magnifying glasses. You're gonna be stick shaking. Girls, I'm gonna give you these sweep nets. And boys, you get these rather funky looking things. These are pooters. So you're gonna go off, find an environment that's perfect, and I'll come and show you how it's done. Are you ready? Yeah! yeah. Let's bug hunt. Let's try this one here. Stick shaking is as simple as it sounds. Find a bush or a branch, place a large white sheet underneath it and give it a shake. Insects have tiny claws that they use to hang on really tight. So that first shake is all important to catch them by surprise. This is good. It's an earwig. The thing to look out for is these forceps at the back of the abdomen. Can you see those? Yeah, mm -hmm. the two. Yeah, it can actually use those to grip on. Believe it or not, I've had one of those gripping onto my tongue. <laughs> I, uh, I drank some drink through a straw, and obviously the earwig was inside the st oh. straw, and it latched onto the end of my tongue with those forceps. Didn't hurt too much, but it was a bit of a surprise. It's quite unusual to find them out in the open like this, which is why stick shaking works so well. <laughs> Sweep netting is old school, but it still really works. Take a butterfly net and sweep it through the top of long grasses, keeping it always moving in the same direction, and you'll catch moths, butterflies, ladybirds, crickets. It's one of the most productive ways of catching bugs. Oh, that's nice. It's a gatekeeper butterfly. There it is. Look at that. So you can see the way that you tell this particular species is if you look on the forewing, you can see that there is a black circle with two white dots inside of it. Does that you mean see that's that? a female? No. So the way you tell the difference for these is the male is slightly more brightly coloured than the female. And off it goes! And the reason it went is because that little soldier beetle turned up to say hello. You're getting so much and you isn't this really good? <laughs> yeah. A pooter is a way of catching insects using the power of suction. All you need is a small jar, two tubes running into it, one of which you're going to be sucking through so it has to have fine fabric at the end so you don't swallow anything. But if you get it right, then it turns you into a walking anteater. Let's have a look at what you've got. Let's see. Oh my word. There is so much in there. So you've got one big harvestman, lots of tiny little crickets. You might have 30 different species in there. So you've had a few hours at this now. Have you had fun? Yeah! Good stuff. Well, let me see what you've got. Oh, that's good. So that is a heath grasshopper. Really nice. And Peter? Oh, beauty. That is a lovely ground beetle. Really, really good catch. Okay, so my sweep netters, what have you got? We found a skipper and then this um, caterpillar. That's pretty good. And? found the other skippers in this one. <laughs> and how many different kinds of butterflies have you found today? Uh, today we found nine, nine. different nine species. Nine different species of butterflies? Yeah. That's fantastic. And last of all, what about you guys? We found a shield bug. Oh, yes. That is really, really nice. I tell you what though, these things absolutely stink. <laughs> but kind of cool. Good job. I think you've done brilliantly, but now what is the number one rule? We need to let them go. Absolutely spot on. Right, off you go. So it's clear that you can find an incredible diversity of life and it doesn't matter where you are. You can be in a woodland, a park, your own back garden, even an old shed but every adventurer knows you've got to take care how you handle and release your bugs.